When one pictures mermaids, a red-headed girl who sings to her fish friends about waiting to walk on land might spring to mind. The mermaid, a woman with the upper body of a human and the lower body of a fish, has existed in folklore since ancient times. However, they are not always as sweet and nice as Disney would have you believe. Mermaids appeared long ago, with the earliest being in Assyrian folklore. Legends tell of the goddess Atargetus, who loved a mortal man, yet she killed him accidentally. So saddened and ashamed of what had happened, she dove into a lake to hide from sight of mankind. She transformed into a fish so that she may live, yet the water could not hide her godly beauty, and instead, she became the first mermaid. Like many myths, the mermaid goddess was mirrored in other cultures throughout the world. In Greek myths, a goddess was known as Derketo. Yet this wasn't the only mermaid legend that the Greeks spoke of. It was said that Alexander the Great's sister was in fact a mermaid herself, who would arise from the ocean depths and ask passing ships of news of her brother. If the sailors did not tell her that all was well with Alexander, she would become angered and call upon mighty storms to smash the ship. Should the answer tell of Alexander's greatness, the waters would be calm, allowing the ship to safely make it to port. Some point to the Greek myth of the sirens to also be that of mermaids. Most depictions of the sirens show them to be half women and half bird. However, certain myths point them to being more mermaid-like in appearance. Unlike the Disney version, most myths of the mermaid actually depict them as a sign of coming disaster. British and Irish folklore depicts these creatures as leading men to their deaths, luring them into the waters and drowning them. If a ship should meet a mermaid out on the open ocean, it was a sign that the men would never see the shore again. However, not every mermaid is considered evil. In one legend, a mermaid came to a village and listened to a man named Matthew Trehala sing at the church. The two fell in love, and it is said that you can hear them singing together at night at Pendor Cove. Arabic folklore, such as that in 1001 Nights, depict merpeople to look no different than those who live on land. Several heroes of folklore venture below the depths of the oceans and meet cities of merfolk who live their lives with little difference to those on land. The myths of mermaids can be found throughout the world. Korea, Africa, and China all feature hybrid creatures that live in the waters. Some are benevolent, such as the legends of the South Korean island of Busan, where it is said that a mermaid will warn fishermen off the waters because of incoming storms. Probably the most common view of the modern mermaid is that of Disney's The Little Mermaid, which sees the young Ariel make a pact with a sea witch, get a prince to fall in love with her, and eventually live happily ever after. Like many Disney properties, the general concept was taken from fairy tales, in this case The Little Mermaid by Hans Christian Andersen. In the original story from 1887, the young mermaid falls in love with a prince when she rescues him from drowning. She wishes to live with her prince on land and makes a pact with the evil sea witch. Much like the film, the witch takes the mermaid's tongue and in exchange gives her legs. However, the witch tells her that if the prince marries another, she will die. As is the case with old fairy tales, of course, the prince is already set to marry another princess and the mermaid is running out of time. But she is given a magic knife. If she kills the prince after his wedding night, she will be free and allowed to return to the sea. Of course, the mermaid can't bring herself to kill the one she loves and instead jumps back into the ocean and dissolves into sea foam. Happily ever afters all around. As the world grew older, the belief of mermaids did not go away. Christopher Columbus wrote about sighting mermaids during his travels, and the pirate Blackbeard was reported as avoiding certain areas where the merfolk made their homes. So here comes the fun part. How does science try to explain mermaids? Of course, there is the idea that our ancient myths can cause people to think they see one thing, when in reality, it is something completely different. Many scientists believe that early sailors' reports of seeing mermaids were merely manatees. I suppose if you were stuck on an early ship for months at a time with nothing but salted pork and 40 other men, anything would look like a beautiful woman. The depths of the ocean takes up more than 70% of the planet, with our understanding of it actually being surprisingly small. Who knows what creatures lie below the darkness that the sun 
cannot penetrate, or what civilizations await our discovery. <laughs>